I was making the video about the infection in prison so I didn't have uh, any plan for making video until I finished that video but I got a uh, shocking news so I'm making a short video United Arab Emirates Prince Muhammad bin Zayed he was a transfer to Cleveland Hospital at Abu Dhabi after the all examination and test he got infected and now he is quarantined at his palace it turns out that he got infected from his Philippine housemate Afghanistan Lithuania fellow Iceland Nepal Luxembourg Andorra Saudi Arabia Gibraltar Armenia Argentina Nigeria, Jordan, Chile, Dominica Republic, Ukraine, North Macedonia, Morocco, Cambodia, Monaco, Poland, Liechtenstein, Latvia, Tunisia, Sri Lanka. Still do you think it's not severe than flu? Before starting video, there's something I want to tell you guys. From now on, I'm gonna use the word uh, virus not that virus, you know. People say do not go crowded place in for getting a virus. But what about the people who are forced to, to live in crowded place? Today is the video about the people in the prison, China and Iran. The outbreak of a mass infection in Luncheng prison in Sandong province. 200 inmates and 7 guards were confirmed. On February 12, a prison guard who was working was coughing and got positive from the test. So they did a test for 2,000 inmates and prison guards, and they could find that more than 207 people were infected. Meanwhile, the uninfected guards were isolated in the Feng Huang Shiwi Hotel in Shijunggu. Also, every officer in quarantine had to sign that they would keep quiet about virus. And also, they were asked to monitor each other among isolated prison guards and report to the authorities, any of their colleagues who spread information to outside. According to an interview by prisoner at Runcheng Prison, he said, Prison is not properly managed, and the environment is very poor. More than few thousand would be infected. Prisoners are being moved to, to somewhere late to at night. Also, 34 confirmed cases occurred at once in Zhejiang province, Sripeng prison. In a press interview, authority said a prison guard in Sripeng hid his visit to Wuhan. So another 27 people have been infected in one day, and also seven inmates were confirmed. The infection occurred in prison while the Chinese government focused on controlling civilian movement. The Chinese government has fired the warden and all other involved. Later, Sripeng prison was closed and the whereabouts of other prisoners are still unknown. There has also been a mass infection in prison in Hubei province, including 230 confirmed cases in Wuhan women's prison. So totally 631 inmates were confirmed to have been infected in five prisons in China. That's all about the infection from prisons in China. China's case is really surprising, but the Iranian situation may change your mind. March 3rd, Iran has temporarily released more than 54,000 prisons in an effort to combat the spread of new virus disease in crowded jails. March 3rd, Iranian officials called for granting leave to the group of prisoners as a measure to prevent the spread of the virus in the country. This virus has killed dozens in the countries and infected 23 members of Iranian parliament. The move came following reports on the deaths of the prisoner in Tehran, even prison after he had had been suffering the virus symptoms. The head of Iran's counter-disease task force said 
we ask the judiciary to grant relief for prisoners with a health certificate to reduce emergency number in prisons and limit the spread of the virus. So judiciary spokesman said inmates were allowed to out of prison after testing negative for virus and posting bail. But security prisons sentenced to, to more than five years will not be let out. Until now, whenever I make a video about this virus, I could see it's not only CCP's problem. Even in Korea, USA, Europe, Iran, Japan, many countries' leaders are trying to cover this situation. They are saying this is not severe than flu, don't need to worry about it, do not panic. I know every year there are tons of the people are dying from flu in USA. But this is a new virus and we really do not know how contagious and how severe. At the first time, scientists and doctors say this is not severe for young and healthy people. But we can see many articles about the young people's deaths and even babies. And as I told you, if you got infected from this virus and didn't get treatment to on time, then you have to live with the low lung function in your whole life. It's almost impossible to recover. I do not think uh, flu is nothing. Flu is really a serious issue. But if this virus impacts on USA now, with the flu, then the situation will be more awful. Really, really awful. In New York State, right? The person who tested positive was only the 32nd test we've done in this state. That is a national scandal. I'm a practitioner on the firing line, and I don't have the tools to properly care for patients today. But when I get on the six train, when I'm walking around Times Square, when I'm in the emergency room every single day caring for patients, I am very worried. You are going to see widespread disruption to daily life. Do not believe the false reassurance. So what uh, do you agree with Donald Trump's chief of staff, Mulvaney, that the coronavirus uh, is the hoax of the day? The State Department is doing everything it can to protect American citizens around you, the world. Do you believe coronavirus is the I, I'm hoax not going to comment day. on what just others yes, say. You, you're, I'm just I, asking you, do you believe I, the coronavirus telling, is a I'm hoax? I'm just telling you what the Secretary of State is right, doing. Do you believe the coronavirus is a hoax? We're working to keep people safe. Right, you can't even answer that question. Yeah, it's I mean, just very. It's not even look, a gotcha you're, question. You're, you're, you believe the coronavirus is, is a, it's a hoax? A, it's a gotcha moment. It's not useful. Take, is take a coronavirus a, a hoax? Actions. Can you just answer that question? We're, we're taking it seriously. This is a, this is a, right. this are is you, serious. Are you at twelve fifteen today? Are you in fact yourself president. speaking at CPAC the, the, at twelve fifteen today? Are you speaking? Yes, at I am. I'm planning. All right. So you can only give two hours. This bipartisan group of members of Congress, and instead of answering questions on life and death issues from a bipartisan group of America's representatives. You're going to go talk to a special interest group. Yes. You, sir, represent all Americans, not yes. a special interest and group. I it speak. is shameful. You can't even answer basic questions. I yield back. This is not good. We know that there are 88 cases in the United States. There are going to be hundreds by middle of the week. There's going to be thousands by next week. Well, yeah. we've seen one case in, the, in New York. I bet there are hundreds. Uh, I bet there are thousands in the United States. And the longer we wait to get testing up and running, the worse this is going to be. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,